All rise. The Honorable Judge G.O.D. is presiding. You may be seated. Thank you. The food we have before us today. Your Honor, the case before the court is in the matter of the sect of law and order versus Jesus. Okay, prosecutor, go ahead and share your opening remarks. Thank you. Good afternoon, Your Honor. My name is Satan DeVille, and I represent the plaintiffs in this case, the sect of law and order. We really have a pretty open and shut case before you today. The defendant is in clear violation of many of the laws and communal orders that govern our society. He has the audacity to claim the ability to heal people and forgive their sins. He hangs out with the worst people in the community, and he is single-handedly responsible for the shutdown of the pig trade in Garrison's by instructing 6,000 pigs to kill themselves. Your Honor, I could go on and on. He's become the leader of an unruly group of followers who have been seen eating with dirty hands and on the Sabbath of all days. Your Honor, I just, the, defend, the evidence against this defendant is just overwhelming. I could continue and continue, but you'll see it today. You'll see, at the end of the evidence, you will have no choice but to find the defendant guilty. He's guilty of destroying traditions, guilty of trying to liberate these people, guilty of trying to put new wine into old wineskins. Your Honor, at the conclusion of the trial today, you will find this defendant guilty. Thank you, Mr. Bill. Jesus, I see you are alone. Yes, Your Honor. I have no counsel. Are you preparing to defend yourself? No defense necessary, Your Honor. All right, Jesus, must be a pretty strong case. You may be seated. Uh, go ahead and call your first witness, Mr. Bill. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd like to call to the stand Mr. Pharisee. Mr. Pharisee, thank you for coming in today. It's a pleasure to be in your company. Now, my office has spent an extensive amount of time looking into the evidence against Jesus. Now, I know that you are a man of the cloth. You're a scholar of both the religion and the law. You know all the do's and don'ts. In fact, you teach people to know what should and shouldn't happen. Under your direction, the temple has become a place of great order and discipline. In fact, let me take a minute to just thank you for being such an exemplary leader. I am. Uh, actually, I am. <laughs> now, I understand that you and the other members of the Sanhedrin have been keeping an eye on Jesus as well. Would you share with us, in your expert opinion, your observations? Sure. Well, Mr. Bill, where do I begin? Uh, we, we caught him doing all kinds of things that are unbecoming and, and, and unnatural to our religious beliefs. Uh, he's healed a local man and forgiven him of his sins. We caught him eating at the home of tax collectors, of all people. He's actually been found in the company of all types of notorious rule breakers and prostitutes. He's even encouraged his cult followers to break the religious fast. Do you need more? Yes, please continue. He's healed the local man on the Sabbath. And you mentioned the pig trade. That's right. From what we can gather, through some form of hypnosis, he made 6,000 pigs run six miles and commit suicide. We asked him for some sign to prove that he is who he claims to be, and he gave us none. Personally, I'm tired of this man. This man is a disruption to order. This man does not represent the religious community. He's a cult leader. And if it were up to me and the rest of the Sanhedrin, you'd be dead already. <laughs> Bill, get order, 
Let's go at home. Better get control of him. Mr. First, see, please sit down. You know more outbursts like this in this courtroom.